Hi everyone and welcome to another vlog. So today we are at Sarah Hall Mill Park and we have come for a little walk with my mum and my sister. There's my sister right there in the car. <laughs> and yeah, Hello. we're just gonna go for a little walk. Hello. Hey. Say hello to my vlog. Hello vlog. <laughs> And these um, stepping stones, which Maya knew about already because she's been here before, but yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, the home now. Home of Tolkien. This is the home of Tolkien. Do you want to tell us something about this place, Mum? It's supposed to have inspired um, the stories of Tolkien, so Lord of the Rings. Yep, yep. Hobbits. Born in Birmingham, we might see hobbits. <laughs> yep, I'm one of them because <laughs> I'm 411. <laughs> and there's another one who can do a golem boy. Can you do a the kids are just collecting leaves. Let me see your leaves, Manny. Maya's got some leaves. Wow, she's got loads of leaves. Nanny's got I'm some leaves. Some ivy. Alisa's over there with Auntie Hanifa. Yeah. I just dumped my finger on a nettle. Oh no. Is that the first time I've ever done that? Uh oh. Give me your leaves. I'm going to go to my mum and Auntie Anita's garden. <laughs> wow, beautiful. Neil, Seth, what happened? I got a poo on me. Ew! <laughs> I just went in the woods and then, and then it came out with poop on me. Auntie <laughs> Anita's got it on his feet. Let me see. <laughs> Seth, would you like another yeah. one? Is that poop? I don't know. Can you tell? Oh, Sniff no. it. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. It just looks like um, yeah, it mud. I've just filmed a video which you guys would have seen by now if you watched my last video it's um, the brown rice recipe video I don't really know what's gonna happen the rest of the day I just feel tired I just want to go to sleep again <laughs> so I've got a package from Morphe I think. If you guys watched my e vlog, you'll know that I've been looking for an eyeshadow palette and I found one on morphe.com UK, whatever, and I ordered it. This is like a week ago and it came today, I think. <laughs> I don't even know what's in this box, but we will see. Does anybody else like take the pins out of the scarf to open packages and things? <laughs> so, this is what the box looks like. I got a beauty blender. My one's got holes in it and it's so gross, so I thought I'd get another one. And here's the palette. And I also got a fluffy brush. I hope this is a nice fluffy blending brush. I don't know guys, it was one of those purchases late at night. So yeah, I'm gonna open this up now. Oh, I've never had a Morphe palette before, but I heard they're really good. The one thing I don't like about this palette though, already, is that it doesn't have a mirror, which is so annoying. I love it when palettes have mirrors, but here are all the colours. I thought I'd get a really fun, colourful one, and it's got loads of colours that I use anyway, which are like the pinks and the oranges, and like the gold, like the rose goldy type colours. And then it's also got like greeny blues and yellows, and it's just, I think this is such a good palette because this colour here is great for like up here and then you can use this as like in your corner and things like that so I thought this would be a really good palette to get if you guys want me to follow a makeup tutorial then let me know down below and I will follow a makeup tutorial using this because I am no good at makeup tutorials like I used like this channel just used to be about like makeup and clothes and stuff but I don't know how I ever did that because I'm just not the most amazing person at makeup I've never have been but 
I do love makeup. But anyway, if you want to see me following a tutorial, then let me know. Or if you want me to make one up, then I might do that because I can't wait to use this palette. How exciting. Good morning, everyone. So it is the next day now and I'm making pancakes for breakfast. And I posted these on my Instagram the other day and I've been craving them since and so many of you guys asked me for this recipe so I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. I kind of copied a Pinterest recipe as I normally do but I changed quite a bit of it. So the first thing we need to do is get half a cup of plain flour. In the recipe it says you need stevia. I don't know what that is. Well, I know it's like a healthier sweetener type thing. I don't use that. I just got mm. caster sugar so i'm going to be using one tablespoon of caster sugar mm. next we need some baking powder which is one and one fourth teaspoons the next ingredient is salt but it says to add one fourth of a teaspoon and that's what i did last time but i'm not going to do that today i'm just going to literally put like the tiniest amount in um literally a pinch i think what i'm going to do with this is just whisk all the dry ingredients together so that there's no lumps in there and so that everything's incorporated really well so that's just going to sit over there while we get our wet ingredients ready now i've got a jug which i'm going to be measuring my wet ingredients in and for this i'm using one egg it says to add water but i'm adding milk because milk is just better than water um, I don't measure it, I just add a little bit just so that it mixes in with the egg really well. And then when I'm mixing the dry and wet ingredients together later, that's when I'll add more milk if I need to, to change the consistency of the butter. Next we need to add some vanilla. We don't need to add this, it's not on the recipe, but I find that adding vanilla helps a recipe taste so nice. Um, pancakes anyway. So I'm literally going to add like the tiniest amount, like four or five drops of it. This stuff is so strong. But it makes things taste really nice, so it's good. And then the last ingredient is oil. You, it says to add walnut oil, but I don't have any walnut oil, so I'm going to be adding vegetable oil, and it just says one tablespoon. So that's going to go straight in there. And I'm going to use the same whisk to whisk this all up. Perfect. Now I'm going to add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. And then whisk that all together. And then at this point is when you'll know if you need to add any more milk, which I definitely do because look how thick that batter is. So I'm just going to add like a little bit at a time, probably like a teaspoon at a time, just to get the batter to the consistency that I like. This is the consistency of the batter. It's really thick, but not too thick that it won't spread when you put it on the pan. It looks amazing. So. Also, don't over mix this too much because it will just knock out all the air and you want that air in there for, for them to rise. So, let's get cooking this. When you put them on, all you want to do is spread them out a little bit. You can use an ice cream scoop or you can use a cup or just a tablespoon, anything that you have really. And just place the batter so that it won't touch the other batter and there you go that is basically how you do it you want to wait until you can see the bubbles forming on the top and then once they start forming and the sides kind of solidify that's when you know they're ready to flip Look at how fluffy these pancakes come out. Oh my gosh, they just are the perfect pancakes ever. I like to put my pancakes on a wire rack because then it kind of just keeps them crisp and not soggy. And that is how you make my pancakes. They're all cooked now. They're so fluffy, like, oh my gosh, I already had half pancake, but they're so delicious and soft and bouncy and oh my gosh, this is how many it made. I made smaller ones this time so it would make more, but yeah, that's how many it made. 
So we're gonna go and enjoy these pancakes now. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I hope you love it as much as I do because it's so delicious. But if you guys make it, then make sure you tag me on Instagram and hashtag Surf's Life Recipes. This is Elisa's breakfast, her pancakes that she wanted. She chose everything on this plate. So that's what she's gonna have. This is my plate. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these pancakes. So on my pancakes, I have Lotus Biscoff Crunchy Spread, Nutella, I have some cream and I have some berries. We don't have many berries left, that's why I don't have many. But look at these pancakes, guys. They just are the best pancakes ever. Well, I haven't vlogged all day. Today has just been one of those days. I slept for nearly three hours and I just have not wanted to vlog today. So I'm going to do a bit of a speed clean because my house is an actual mess like you know when you just don't touch anything and nobody else does it that's just what my house is like today look at it there's food on the floor there's rubbish everywhere there's clothes everywhere oh my god this is gonna be fun but i'm gonna do it after i've eaten because it is currently about half seven and i've ordered pizza hut yes i ordered food again i had roscoe's yesterday like this week has just been oh, just horrible but we're gonna eat and then i'm gonna get the kids to bed and then i'm gonna do a clean of the whole of the downstairs because it's just out of control i'm about to eat this cookie dough guys i feel so guilty about it i'm gonna eat it anyway because it's just one of those days but i don't really care also, look at how many steps I've done. How bad is that? Never mind, never mind. Tomorrow is another day, hey? <laughs>
The cleaning down here is basically done. The extension is not done. Lisa's here, she wants to be in the vlog. But basically, I'm not gonna do the extension because I can't Hello! Be Shall I tell you what time it is? It is now four minutes past 10 and my kids are still awake. Excuse the big crater on my head. I'm gonna take them upstairs to bed now. But I'm just gonna end this video now because I'm not gonna do much, just chill because I need it. I really need it. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Hello! I love you so much. Bye!